Hey guys, I'm now joined with Gary Clark Jr. How's it going, Gary? Fantastic, fantastic. Happy to be here in Australia once again. Yeah, it's fantastic. And uh, you're you're here part of Falls Festival, but you, you come here quite often because um, you play like Byron Bay Festival and as well. So I mean, you really must love the uh, Australian festival scene. Yeah, I love it. I mean, um, I feel like everybody comes out with a certain energy to have a good time. The folks that come out and check us out um, give us lots of energy, and we try and give it back. So it's always always fun. That's great. Well, one of your uh, your first gigs in Melbourne was at, at Cherry Bar, and there was about about 250 people there. And and now you see that the crowd's obviously grown. Um, have you really seen the the progression of uh, of love throughout Australia? Um, yeah, I see it every time I hit the stage, you know, and, and kind of wandering around the streets a bit. Uh, you know, I get the love in the streets when I'm wandering around, and um, you know, people are. I've been showing love, it seems to keep growing, and that's why I'm excited to come back, you know, because it's like, um, you know, it seems to be to be working, and I'm excited and grateful, you know. That's great, and, and you're, uh, you're playing a national tour as well after this, you've got a few dates, uh, you're playing the Forum in Melbourne, but uh, you're also playing the Sydney Opera House. Yeah. As an international artist, is the Sydney Opera House, does it still have that kind of iconic feeling, it, it's, a, it's a venue you'd like to play? Yeah, definitely. I mean, every time I go to Sydney, I see it, mm -hmm. and um, and I had an opportunity to go uh, to an event there, and um, yeah, I was really excited. I was like, I got to get in here one day. So it's actually happening. I'm excited about that. Yeah. Well, I'm sure you'll love it. It's a it's a good venue. Now, um, we're going to talk about uh, the story of Sunny Boy Slim. Yeah. Now, uh, it, has the reception been to that? It's it's been doing quite well. Oh, yeah, it's been doing good. You know, um, took a chance and, and did something different and. Um, See, people seem to be responding, so uh, we're going to come out here and play some of those tunes, see how it goes. Yeah. Have you been getting a good uh, live reception to, to the songs? Yeah, you know, um, the thing about the the album is I took a lot of it on, on my own, and uh, <clears throat> the thing that I love about playing live is, you know, the guys in my band have a nice way of interpreting the sounds and yeah. songs and, and throwing their own flavor on it, which I really like to see that kind of grow, and it's all kind of... Um, weaved very nicely within the set of, of music that we've already had previously. And have you noticed with getting the additional musicians on board that it, it, it varies, the the, um, the songs have changed over a period with, as they adjust to it? Yeah, well I think the, the thing that always happens is, is I'm never stuck to an idea. Studio presentation is what it is and then, you know, we'll have conversations before or after shows and something might happen spontaneously and that might spark an idea and we might try a different way and, and uh, you know also depending on how the crowd responds to certain things we might switch it up to make it exciting and um, so it's ever ever evolving musical process and journey. Yeah. Well it was been a, a three year gap between uh, your last album to uh, Sunny Boy Slim in that time, you did uh, quite a few collaborations, and you featured on uh, Foo Fighters' last album as well, which was which was cool. I mean, if a, if a collaboration offer comes up, no matter what kind of genre it is, are you one to just jump head first at these things? Yeah, um, I I love being able to uh, be accepted by different artists in different genres. You know, I walk up with my guitar, and they're like, "Hey, you want to play something?" And it's new for me. I learn something. I always take away something from that experience. And um, yeah, I'm in a good place. I mean, I, I I get to jump on a lot of different stages and work with people I never thought I would. And and that to me is is also what keeps me inspired as a musician is to have so many different influences. You know? And and your music was recently just uh, featured for a UN uh, campaign for the embassy. So uh, how, did, how did that come about? Did they, did they approach you to do that, or is just yeah? They, I guess they thought it was fitting for the for the um, for the sequence, and um, I saw it and I, I thought it fit perfectly. You yeah. Know? yeah. Fantastic. Uh, well, we're uh, you bet just start like the Falls Festival, and then you've got a whole bunch of other dates coming up. Uh, what's sort of the plan for the uh, for 2016 um, after you've done this little run? 2016, um, I'm gonna go back to the states and um, plan to shoot some videos for some songs and um, and start up a, a tour in the states as well. You know, Fantastic. just keep it coming. Uh, Fantastic. Well. Sounds great. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to your set later tonight. Oh, Garrett, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Always, man.